I should have told y'all, uh, if you're looking for a way to use vegetables instead of spaghetti noodles, or lasagna noodles, something like that, you can always use eggplant, zucchini squash. I think yellow squash would be good too. And it just makes for a really, really healthy, good uh, dish. That, so, beats, that beats spaghetti and noodles. Oh us. yeah, That's it beats than... spaghetti because I don't know, that squash is just so fresh in there. So That's, just want that, to give y'all that tip. That panko seasoning in there. Yeah. Ooh. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rose from my Rose's Open Pantry, and I'm so glad y'all decided to join me today. We uh we've got zucchini in the in the garden, and this is a big one. So, uh, I am going to do something fun. <laughs> Roy and I love uh, eggplant parmesan. We love lasagna, things like that. So today I'm going to take one of my bigger. Uh, zucchinis and I'm going to make a parmesan crusted zucchini casserole. So I've got one medium onion cut up right here and I've got a little skillet right behind me and I'm going to saute this onion. Now you can do this, you can saute yours in the microwave. I mean not saute it but you can put a little water in it, put it in the microwave and just kind of steam it. I'm just wanting it to kind of uh, Kind of break down a little bit, cook just a little bit. All right. I'm slicing my zucchinis about uh, probably a fourth of an inch thick, like that. Now this is a big squash, but it doesn't have really big seeds in it, uh, so I can use it. Um, a lot of times when they get this big, the seeds get really big and they're they're not really good, but these are delicious, so. That's about as thick as two slices of uh, cheese, yeah. sliced cheese that you yeah. buy in a pack. Mm -hmm. It is. And in this, we're gonna have onions. Now, for you that are uh, low carb, and gluten-free, I'm using uh, pork rind panko crumbs. If you're not low carb, but just gluten-free, you can buy a gluten-free panko crumbs uh, in the grocery store. My uh, grandson's wife, Liz, has celiac, and she's had it since she was a teenager. So that's what they use because she doesn't, she doesn't necessarily watch her carbs, she just has to watch her gluten. So, for that, you can buy the, uh, the gluten-free panko crumbs, but today, we're using uh, pork rind crumbs. Some, some companies call them panko, pork rind panko. Now, I've got the original and the Italian, and since this is kind of on the Italian line, I thought I would use them both, and I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in them. Uh, so... I'm just gonna let my onions cook for about three or four minutes. And I'm gonna finish slicing up my uh, squash. Then we'll come back and I'll show you how we're gonna bread it. We're gonna do them in the air fryer today. You can bake them in the oven. You can fry them in a frying pan or you can do them in the air fryer. I chose to do mine in the air fryer today. So uh, let me finish cutting up this and then I'll get everything else ready and we'll be back. Okay, y'all, I am putting a little garlic powder in my eggs. I have three eggs here, and I added a little bit of water to them. And we're going to dip our panko crumbs in egg, and then we're going to dip it in our pork rinds. Now, I have not salted my, uh, I have not salted my zucchini because there's salt in the Parmesan cheese. We're going to put more Parmesan cheese. There's a little salt in the, uh, or they taste salty in the, in the pork rind. I tasted of it, and I cheated. <laughs> I did one in the air fryer earlier just to see how it would do because I, I was, I didn't know whether I wanted to fry them in oil or do them in the air fryer. And we like them just as well in the air fryer as we did fried. So... My onions are ready. I'm going to turn them off. 
Now, I've got to get my, I'm not going to measure this because I know I'm going to have to put more in it. This is my original right here of my pork rinds. I'll just take my hand. And, and then this is the Italian ones. I thought about putting a little bit more Italian seasoning in it, and I still may, uh, just to give it that that good flavor. Uh, now this is this is the best when you're doing uh, a batter or you're crusting something. This is the best uh, Parmesan cheese to use. It is your grated. It's not the shredded kind. The shredded kind, I tried that. The shredded uh, is too dry and the pieces are too little. Your grated will always work better. I think when you're doing something like this. Now, I'm going to use the shredded uh, in a few minutes, but when I start to put my casserole together. All right, that was just two good pinches of Italian seasoning. Okay, I'll get this all stirred up. Now, we're going from egg. All right, let me get these out of the way so I'll have plenty of room to work. We're going from egg to panko to air fryer, okay? Now, this is kind of a messy job, but hey, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> no, if you're going to have, if you're going to have really good uh, zucchini, Parmesan crusted zucchini, you want, uh, you want egg, believe me. So your, uh, so your crumbs will stick, okay? And the thing about these is you don't have to turn them in the air fryer because they brown on the bottom also. Now, for y'all, all of you, you out there that's worried about me putting egg in these panko crumbs, it's probably not going to be enough. I'm probably going to have to make more. So, and in the air fryer, they get just as crisp as they did when I fried them. I may not use all of these, but you know what I'll do with it? I will fry them, deep fry them in some grease. The uh, if I don't use all my zucchini squash, and I'm only going to be able to do like uh, two, four, five, six at the time. So I'm going to get these on. That's because your air fryer is just not very large. Right, is it? I don't have one of those big countertop ones like a lot of people have where it looks like a mini oven. I don't have one of those. I have thought about getting it before and I've even looked at them. I took them out of the box. Uh, but they take up so much room on your counter until I just hadn't decided to make that, make that purchase yet. Okay, I need to wash my hands, get this in the air fryer. I'm gonna put it on five minutes and uh, see how they look. I may have to do them two more minutes. I think seven minutes will work. So we're gonna put this in the oven when I get it all put together. So they're gonna cook a little bit longer in the oven. Uh, let me get my this off my hands and we'll be back. All right. I want y'all to look at this. This is yeah. air fryer zucchini squash. And I did them eight minutes because I wanted them really crunchy and crisp. And they are. They are very crunchy, very crisp. They're going to make a wonderful, wonderful casserole. All right, I've got some Can more. I tell them how good they are as French fry replacements? Oh, yeah. Just mm -hmm. like they are. Just like they are. Oh, yep. man, that's good. Delicious. All right. Now, I did spray the bottom with a little... Uh, with a little baking spray, but you don't have to spray the top because the pork rinds have oil in them themselves. So you don't you don't have to spray the top of them. But I just sprayed the bottom, keep it from sticking a little bit. Okay. All right. We're gonna finish cooking the rest of these, and then when we come back, we're gonna put this together. But I just wanted to show y'all how pretty 
those zucchini squash were in the air fryer. And they taste even better oh, than they look. They're ready to eat right now. So, all right, y'all. Looking good, Grandma. I'm telling you, I've got my first layer of uh, zucchini squash now. Now, this is some spaghetti sauce that I made for my homemade marinara the other day. So, I'm just going to use this. You can use just plain marinara. This has got ground beef in it. If you don't want yours to have meat in it, just go to the grocery store, get you a jar of uh, spaghetti sauce, whatever kind you like. Uh, or you can make your own. You can uh, use marinara, just whatever however you want to do yours, but I have this in the refrigerator. It's already got meat in it, so this is just gonna be a one dish meal for us. Uh, we probably won't even put a salad with it because this is gonna be so hearty till I don't think that we're gonna, I don't think that we're gonna need anything else. All right, now you don't wanna just smother it in sauce. You just wanna kinda of lay your sauce on your slices like that okay now next i'm gonna put a few of those sauteed onions just because we love onions and this is a 10 by no 11 by 9 dish that i'm putting this in and y'all see i y'all saw i didn't even use that whole zucchini squash because it was so big now i'm gonna kick it up a notch and yeah, I do that from time to time. I'm going to lay a fresh tomato. Now these came out of the garden. I'm gonna lay a fresh tomato on each one of my slices, my uh, zucchini slices. All right. Now this is gonna give it that fresh taste mm, that you just love. Coming out of the garden, mm, so good. All right, I put a fresh one on each. Uh, each squash. Now, I think here I'm going to put this kind of cheese. Just the grated. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on it. Like that. As much as you want. You can use another kind of cheese if you want to. Now, uh, okay. I'm going to layer my squash again. I cooked some small pieces because when I was decide when I was going to come up with this when I decided to do it I got a smaller dish than this and then I realized that I wanted a, a little bit bigger one so I didn't count my slices correctly so I had to fry just a few little pieces which is fine still in the air fryer it's still in the air fryer yes okay all right now I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of my onions on this. And y'all, this is gonna be so good. And those fresh tomatoes, oh, gonna take it over the top. Now you can leave out the onion if you don't want it. You could even put peppers in it if you wanted peppers in it. All right. Uh, I think on this one, I'm gonna put another layer of my tomato and i think i'm gonna need to slice another one i got one out here in case i need to so this is kind of gonna be like individual you just pick up one of those uh, pick up one of those squash and it'll be a serving okay you pick up the whole stack you pick up the whole stack yep okay let me slice this, put it right here. I didn't think I had enough, but now then, all right. Let me put a little piece right there. All right, now we're gonna put some more sauce over it. Now, if you notice, I'm just kind of putting it where the, the squash are the little stacks of squash. Because when it cooks, it's gonna melt down anyway. The sauce is gonna melt down between them. You gonna use any more panko or parmesan? Nope, I'm gonna use more parmesan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
get some around the edges. I'll just use all of this because. Just because you just can. Just because I can and just because it needs using. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now that was probably about a quart of sauce. Now I'm going to take my shredded Parmesan and I'm going to spread it over the top. This will cook about everything in it is done. You just want it to where your uh, everything is just bubbling and your Parmesan cheese gets brown. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to put on there. And this was a probably 16 ounce, no, it's a five ounce and I used a little over half of it. All right, my oven is on 350 degrees. We're gonna put this in and uh, then we're gonna give it a taste for y'all. I have to say, Grandmama, that's another good looking dish. All right, y'all, 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And I just put a few little cherry tomatoes on it, just so you would know there were fresh tomatoes down in it. So, we are about to get a taste of this. I'm gonna go in right here. Mm. Just gonna look, pick look up that. one stack, aren't you? Look at that, one whole stack. Oh my goodness, y'all look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let me sit down and the fork. Yeah. Looks good, Grandma. Now, if you want to put more Parmesan cheese on it, that's up to you. Y'all, this is going to be so good. Mm. Get some of that squash. It's hot. It's going to burn thy tongue, darling. Mm. 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 Don't tell me it's good. It's delicious, y'all. Remember, you saw it first on Grandma Rose's Open Pantry on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to get that in. You don't push your channel, do you? No. That fresh tomato, I want y'all to look at that. Mm. Wow. You're playing with your food, Grandmama. You're having too much fun. Y'all, you've got to have the fresh tomato in it. It just gives you a burst of, of, of freshness. Mm. So good. Honey, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to let you taste. All right. Okay, baby. Well, you know it hadn't been tasted of until Roy <laughs> tastes of it. <laughs> I'm the one what counts. I want to let y'all look at that. Look at that fresh tomato. Mmm. 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 That is so good, y'all. Boy, it smells good. Roma tomatoes would be great to put in this because they don't have as much uh, juice in them as your regular slicing tomatoes do. Tell me, honey. Grandmama, you, you, you actually did it good again. Pretty good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. Make you some mm -hmm. zucchini. Some Parmesan crusted zucchini casserole. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do your zucchini in the air fryer. This is delicious. It is delicious. Love y'all. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness, deliciousness back in your healthy food. See y'all next time.